Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today we will talk about the ductus venosus Doppler ultrasound. We have already discussed the umbilical artery Doppler ultrasound, the uterine artery Doppler ultrasound and the middle cerebral artery Doppler ultrasounds and you can find their links in the i button in the top right corner of this video. What is a ductus venosus ultrasound? The ductus venosus ultrasound is a specific ultrasound which measures the velocity of the blood flow through the ductus venosus. And you can see in this picture in, that this is the fetal ductus venosus blood vessel. The ductus venosus allows the oxygenated and nutrient rich venous blood to flow from placenta to the myocardium and brain. So let us talk about the anatomy and significance of ductus venosus in the Doppler ultrasound. Ductus venosus is a vein which connects the umbilical vein to the inferior vena cava of the fetus. Means this vein allows the fetal circulation to bypass the liver. Increased impedance to flow in the fetal ductus venosus is associated with certain abnormalities like aneuploidies the cardiac defects and other adverse pregnancy outcomes. So ductus venosus Doppler is a useful tool to detect all these abnormalities. Let us talk about the normal ductus venosus Doppler waveform. The typical Doppler waveform of the ductus venosus shows the continuous flow of triphasic forward flow throughout the cardiac cycle with the highest peak during the systole represented by S wave as you can see here. Another one peak is during the diastolic filling phase which is represented by D wave and the third wave is A wave which represents the atrial contraction. So in this triphasic forward flow we have three waves the S wave, the D waves and A waves. The entire blood flow is in the forward direction. Now it's important to know about the pathophysiology of abnormal changes in ductus venosus Doppler. Basically, these changes initially take place in the umbilical artery. As a result of hypoxic changes, uh, there occurs increased resistance in the umbilical artery. And this increased resistance would lead to impaired cardiac performance which in turn would result in increased CVP, the central venous pressure. As a result, the diastolic flow in the ductus venosus will get reduced. In order to compensate these changes, there is vasodilation in the ductus venosus. Then there is retrograde transmission of atrial pressure. This leads to increased resistance index and the loss of normal a wave in the ductus venosus doppler so it's easy to understand from this pathophysiology that the changes in umbilical artery takes place before the ductus venosus so on umbilical artery doppler ultrasound you can see these changes about two weeks before the ductus venosus doppler ultrasound Reversal in A wave means oxygenated, oxygenation to the heart is impaired, means it's a sign of an impending fetal death and an absolutely abnormal condition. So, reversal of A wave should never ever be underestimated. Before discussing the reversed A wave, let us talk about the reduced A wave. Reduced uh, A wave is very important in diagnosing certain conditions like uh, placental insufficiency, intrauterine growth retardation, the cardiac abnormalities. Here in this doctor, you can see the normal waveform at 18 weeks of gestation, which is a normal Doppler. But in 24 weeks of gestation, uh, you can see in the Doppler that there is a reduced A wave which indicates the underlying problems like placental insufficiency or intrauterine growth retardation. Next comes the reversed A wave. The reversed A wave means the A wave is below the normal baseline on the ductus venosus Doppler ultrasound. It is definitely abnormal wave. So this is the baseline you can see here. And here you can see the reversed A wave in the same fetus taken at 25 weeks of gestation and the reversed A wave indicates the cardiac dysfunction. 
Here you can see the dichotomy between a S and a D waves, which means the S and D waves are almost at the same levels and are closer to each other. And that indicates the cardiac dysfunction. Now here you have another example of a reversed A wave on Doppler ultrasound. The A wave is below the baseline which indicates the flow reversal. This case may be associated with certain conditions like cardiac abnormalities, the trisomy 21 also called the Down syndrome, the preeclampsia and gestational diabetes. So that was all about the ductus venosus Doppler. Thank you so much. Allah Hafiz.